Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day five of my 15 days of beauty. This is where I am going to be uploading a video every single day for 15 days here in the month of December. If you guys have missed out on any of the previous videos, I will link the playlist down in the description box down below. Today's video is my top five like game-changing discoveries and beauty tips that I learned in the year of 2022. Meaning that these top five things that I learned and did this year really made a big difference in my makeup and skin game this year. So let's get into it. I'm not really gonna rank them, but I am gonna save my favorite for last. So they're not ranked, but number five will be my absolute favorite. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going with it. Okay, so my first discovery for the year of 2022 was the skincare brand Elemis. I love their skincare, and I noticed that my skin really loves their skincare. So here's the thing, I love Tatcha, and I still love Tatcha. There's still several products that I absolutely love from Tatcha, however, there are certain products from Tatcha that I noticed with me having adult acne that my skin would break out to, to a certain component or a certain product that I used from that brand. So I had, to leave, I had to be a little bit selective on which Tatcha products I used, but I still love Tatcha. However, when I was first sent a PR package from Elemis and I started using their products, not only did my skin love it, but I loved it. And there's multiple products that I absolutely love from that brand. I would say my number one favorite is the Marine Cream. The Marine Cream is like the bomb.com. What I like about it is that it's not too heavy. So if you struggle with adult acne like I do, but you also ha live in a dry climate and have dry skin, because that's the thing, you guys. There's that crossroads, right? If you have adult acne like I do and you live in a dry climate and your skin can get dry. Like when you wake up in the morning, your skin just feels so dry. It's really hard to find something that's not too emollient based where it breaks you out, but also gives you the hydration. And I always love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. That was like my ride or die. But I have had less and less breakouts since I discontinued using it because I really liked how my skin felt, right? My skin would feel moisturized from the dewy cream, but oftentimes it would break me out. So when I discovered the marine cream for the first time, I was obsessed because it not only gave my skin the moisture that it needed, but it didn't break me out. I would say my favorite is the cleansing balm because it feels like I'm in a spa. Every time I wipe my makeup off with the cleansing balm, so I feel like I'm at my spa and I'm getting a facial. I love that cleansing balm. I love the smell of it. It's If you've ever smelled it, you know what I'm talking about because it's so inviting. It just has that yummy, yummy scent and I'm obsessed with it. I also love the cleansing oil. So I used to use the Tatcha cleansing oil and I tried the Elemis and I love it. So how I like to cleanse is I cleanse with a deeper cleanser at night and then I'll use like a cleansing oil in the morning and that cleansing oil is phenomenal. I also love the dynamic resurfacing pads. They're gentle enough but also very effective. So I love those. And recently they sent me a PR package with the resurfacing pads along with the facial cleanser, the dynamic resurfacing facial wash, and it is fantastic. So it's like one of those brands that the more you use their skincare, the more you really, really love it. And I think my skin really loves it. So I would say discovering Elemis for the year of 2022 was a game changer for me and my skin and the struggle that I have with adult acne. And I just find that my skin likes it. I, there's still products that I love from, from Tatcha though, but I love the brand Elemis. Okay. So let's jump into number two, getting a chemical pill. So back in March was my first experience with getting a chemical pill. And I think I'm gonna get one every single year from this point forward. Yes, it was a little bit crazy, it was. And yeah, your skin looks bonkers when you get it done. Like my skin felt so weird. It was almost like you would open your mouth and you could feel it crack. Oh, it's miserable for that first week. 
but wow. So I went to my dermatologist and she did the procedure and I love it. In fact, I think I'm gonna now get a chemical pill every single year because it takes a minute for you to really start seeing the full results of a chemical pill. And during the summer, my skin was the best it had ever looked. And I knew it was because I'd had that chemical pill in March and it takes like four to five months for the collagen to kind of repair and, you know, heal the skin. And boy, my skin looked amazing. So I think from this point forward, I'm getting a chemical pill. I don't regret it. Yes, it's miserable for a week, but it was worth it. And I'm going to now incorporate it into my yearly routine because I just love the way my skin looked, the way it felt. It just... It's kind of a game changer for me, it is. Okay, let's move on to number three. So number three is that whole TikTok trend of putting your concealer like right here in this area and then right here to kind of lift it. Game changer. I love that trick. Number one, it stops me from using too much concealer. So I was getting heavy handed with concealer. And as you age and you get more and more fine lines and wrinkles underneath the eyes, more is just gonna exaggerate those wrinkles more. And so I am guilty of that, I am. And when I started doing the TikTok trend where you would put a little bit here and up here, it was a game changer because not only did it lift that outer corner, because it does, but I'm using less and it looks more natural and it lasts and looks so much better throughout the day. For me, that was a game-changing tip that I'm really glad I learned sooner rather than later. You know what I mean? I can get heavy-handed with blush, concealer. I can get heavy-handed with everything. And concealer is just not one that looks good on those fine lines. It just doesn't. When I was using so much concealer, it just didn't, it didn't look good. It didn't look natural. It didn't wear very well underneath the eye and yes. So that TikTok trick definitely helped me. I don't, I try not to get as heavy handed with concealer. <laughs> try is the word, right? Okay, tip number four for me is the, is wearing those little eye pads. Those little eye patches, like the silicone eye patches. They are in, they are an absolute game changer. And let me tell you why. So, when I am wearing those consistently every single day, so I have two that I really love. One's from uh, Good Molecules, they're more affordable. I buy them on Beautylish and I love them. They work really great. I also love the ones from Peter Thomas Roth. Those are fantastic too. And they're just more expensive. So when I am consistently using those eye patches, over the course of a few months, I notice a huge difference in my under eye. I notice the softness of the wrinkles, the hydration overall. They're, they're a full blown game changer, right? Back in September, I ran out of them and I thought, well, I'll wait for the Peter Thomas Roth uh, set to come out. You can get like a set of three. They always launch that during the holidays. And it's a really nice way to buy those under eye patches. Well, in the meantime, I should have ordered another jar from Good Molecules, but I didn't. So I was not wearing those under eye patches from like early September until just recently. And I've noticed a huge difference. Like I go back to some of my videos when I am consistently wearing those eye patches underneath my eyes, there's a clear difference to what they look like now. So I just started using them again, but I don't know why I stopped using it. I don't know, you know how you just get out of a routine and you just stop doing it. That's just, there's no reason for it. You can't really explain it other than you just wanna smack yourself silly, but like, you can't really explain why you did it. You just, you just stopped. Because now my under eyes are a little bit more drier and my fine lines are more prominent than they were when I was using those eye patches. I swear by them. I absolutely swear by them and I know they work and I could kick myself for not staying in the habit. You know when you just run out and you're like, oh, I'll order it, oh, I'll order it. Oh, I'll order it during the Beautylish gift card event or I'll order it and, and I never do. And then I'm out of the habit of it, right? It's just like this domino, it's so dumb. So now I have the set from Peter Thomas Roth, the holiday set, and I've ordered some from Good Molecules to have as a backup once I run through that. It's so dumb, you guys, I know, but those under eye patches, I know there's several brands out there and I think they're all probably pretty good, right? I just love the hydration and 
how it softens my under eyes. So they're a full blown game changer. And in the year of 2023, I plan to not go without using them. Like not at all, period. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. So number five, which is my personal favorite, is Lashify. I am absolutely obsessed with Lashify. And funny enough, I bought the control kit to try it out and test it out while I was in vacation. So every year, my husband's from Florida, his family lives there. And so every year we spend a month in Florida with his family. So I thought maybe having Lashify would be great to have on vacation, right? Which it was. But little did I know, I did not realize how much I would love them and now I can't go without them. I love Lashify and it doesn't destroy my lashes. And I look back at videos where I was wearing really thick full lashes, I look ridiculous with them, I just do. For me it's so much softer and I think it's more youthful to wear the Lashify lashes because they're more natural looking and they're not so bold and in your face like strip lashes. Now don't get me wrong, I still love the Ardell. There's several uh, naked lashes styles that I love from Ardell, but I love the fact that Lashify will last me, you know, four, five, six days. And I love waking up and having my lashes already on and it's so quick and easy to get out the door. I can do my makeup so much quicker with Lashify on. My favorite styles are the A's and the C's. And then I also love the um, plus. So the A plus and the C plus. They're a little bit thinner of a band and they look a little bit more natural, but I absolutely love Lashify. I can do my eyeshadow just the same way. I was a little bit concerned that maybe I wouldn't be able to review palettes, because I already have the lashes on, but it has not affected that at all. And I did a full video discussing my journey with Lashify. And even though in that video, it sounds like there's a lot of steps to it. Once you get it, I can do both eyes a full set in 10 minutes. And what I also love is the lashes are very natural. So I have tried a few different brands of lashes. I've tried different glues and none of them compare to Lashify, none of them. The lashes are really natural and really beautiful and the glue is amazing and it does not damage my real lashes. That is the thing that I love the most about that glue is not only does it hold, but it doesn't damage my real lashes. I know many of you guys out there love Lashify like I do, and I just love it. It, it was my favorite discovery of 2022 by far. Out of all of the new makeup releases, out of everything, me discovering Lashify, absolute favorite. My daughter loves it too, so she does Lashify as well, and she likes her lashes to be a little bit more bold, so I like more of the natural look, and she likes them a little more bold, and she loves them. She's like, Mom, these are the best. I'm like, I know. They're amazing. Lashify is where it's at, and like I said, in my video, it sounded like there was so many steps to it, right? I was being overly detailed, so that it was helpful, right? So that some of the information would be helpful, but it is not hard to put on Lashify. It, it literally takes, yeah, when I first did it, it probably took me 20, 30 minutes, but as I continued to do it, it would take me 10 minutes flat. And what I like about it is that I don't have to worry about putting a bunch of mascara on. So I do put mascara like on the tips and stuff. It saves me so much time while I'm wearing the lashes during the week. It saves me so much time when I put my makeup on because I don't have to put so much mascara on and stuff. So Lashify is where it's at. I'm obsessed. I'm officially obsessed with Lashify and it was my absolute favorite discovery of 2022 by far. So that is the list, you guys. Those are my top five favorite beauty discoveries of the year of 2022. Sound off down below. I know I keep saying this. You guys always have the best recommendations. I'm so curious to hear what was the one thing that you found out, learned about, heard about in 2022 that was a game changer for you. I'm so curious to hear. So sound off down below. Let us know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. Don't forget to come right back here tomorrow for day six of my 15 days of beauty. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Love you. Bye. <laughs>